If you have chronic low back pain, you don't need an MRI. It's not going to change your treatment. This is something that I have been seeing more and more people talk about and reply to comments and film videos and all this type of stuff. And it really, really infuriates me because they're not adding the layer of nuance that I believe is extremely important. Now, not calling out any particular professions on this, however, it does seem to be physical therapists who are more pushing these types of videos and these types of comments out. And I agree with the statement in the acute setting. In the acute setting of low back pain, an MRI, unless you are having neurological deficits or neurological changes, an MRI generally is not going to change the initial treatment strategy. That is very important. We don't want to be wasting money on imaging. If someone's thinking of doing an x-ray or CT, there are, is radiation with that. And so we have to factor those things in. However, what happens when someone has gone through two years, three years of treatment that is not directed at anything in particular because an MRI or x-ray was never gotten? Well, what are you going to do? Just going to keep doing treatment because an MRI is not going to change your treatment? This is the layer of nuance that these videos and comments are leaving out. And so it is extremely important that people understand this nuance. I've had so many patients come through my clinic who have come with like five years of low back pain and no one has ever given them an MRI. They don't know why they have pain. Psychologically, they are frustrated because they don't know why they're having pain. And no one has taken that further step to actually get an MRI so that way directed treatments can be done for that. You don't need an MRI if you have acute low back pain and you're gonna be starting physical therapy and you're gonna be working on your sleep, your nutrition, all that type of stuff. Again, unless you have red flags that signify that you would need an MRI. But in the chronic pain world, imaging can be so, so helpful. We've had countless patients, like I said, who have not had imaging, we get imaging, we now have the diagnosis and that imaging is correlated to the physical exam and now we can provide directed treatment options for that structure. The treatments that I do are interventional based, PRP, stem cell therapy. So I need to know what structures are damaged and causing pain in order to effectively put my needle into that area. If you're just doing core stabilization and removing exercises that are triggering, you're right, you don't need an MRI. And so please understand that imaging has a time and a place. And sometimes we don't need it because of the therapies that we're doing. Sometimes we do need it. I've had patients who've come to me who have six months of low back pain. They haven't done any formal physical therapy and they want to know what to do next. And at that stage, a lot of those patients, again, if they don't have neurological deficits or I don't think they have something like an annular fissure, then I'm going to refer off to physical therapy without ordering imaging because that imaging generally is not going to change the treatment approach in physical therapy. But when you are in the chronic pain space, and if that's you listening to this right now, and you have not had imaging, and you have moved into full-blown chronic pain, and you have tried the non-specific treatments like physical therapy, chiropractic, massage, medications, those type of things, and you're considering doing something additional, or you want to do something additional to actually address the deeper structural root cause of your pain, imaging is crucial. And so don't buy into this narrative that getting an MRI on your low back is dumb because everybody has changes on an MRI, whether they have pain or not. Yes, that's true. That's why you have to correlate it with the physical exam in order to say this structural change is causing your pain because of what we found on your physical exam. <laughs>